Good morning. We're Good morning. back. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying our videos that we posted. We have another one coming at you today, Guts and Butts. So we'll get started. Uh, just a note before we do, you're going to have to turn on your own music today. Um, any background music that you like would be great. We won't have any here. So um, Jen's going to get us warmed up. All right, guys, let's start. We're going to go into a nice wide stance. All righty. And I want you to take your hands on your hips. A nice squat down, opening up those hips. A little bit wider than um, hip distance apart, okay? And then round out through the back, slowly press up. Let's do that again. Go ahead and squat down nice and wide and deep, looking straight ahead. And go ahead and round up one more time. Big inhale, exhale, squat down, hold here. Maybe go side to side a little bit, opening those hips up, that feels amazing. Go ahead and round it all the way up. Good. This is hard to work out with no music. I know. It's weird. I know. Now you're going to hear us gasping. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and take it down into a nice runner's lunge. I want you to look straight ahead. Push those hips forward, stretching out through the hip flexors. All righty. And then go ahead and pivot your weight back. Shift your weight back into a nice hamstring stretch on the right. Popping those toes up. Trying to keep a nice straight leg. Go ahead and drop it down again, hip flexor. Take a nice big inhale, exhale, shift your weight back, hamstring stretch on the right. One more time, hip flexor, press forward, and shift back, hamstring stretch, it feels amazing. Go ahead and drop that right toe down, bringing that left foot up, and I want you to give me a nice, slow round of standing. Good. Go ahead and press those hips forward, opening up through the chest. Big inhale. Exhale, step back with the right foot, coming into that runner's lunge. Again, pushing the hips forward, gazing up and toward the front, keeping that back straight. And just pushing that right hip to the floor. Take a big inhale. Exhale, shift your body weight back, popping that toe, stretching out the left hand stern. Again, push forward, hip flexor, inhale, exhale, shift back, and last time, big inhale, exhale, shift back, hamstring, good, go ahead and bring that right foot forward, again, nice slow round of standing, as slow as you can, engaging that core, big inhale, lift those arms overhead, Exhale, hands behind the hips, open up through the chest. Okay, good. You guys ready? Let's go. We're going to start with a squat side to side. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and step to the right, big squat, feet together, and to the left, feet together. Now, as you're doing this, make sure those knees are over the ankles. You're dropping the hip back. Okay, both hips, not just one. <laughs> Dropping them back, bringing the feet together. Let's keep going, okay? 10, together. Nine, eight, seven, six, good. Five, last four. Four, three, two, one, good, bring those feet hip distance apart, maybe standing behind your mat, and let's squat down and up. Okay, dropping the hips, keeping your core engaged. Look straight ahead when you do these, so your back stays in a nice neutral position. Down and up, flat feet, driving through the heels as you press to stand. Last four, three, two, good, and one. All right, I want you to grab a light to medium weight. Only need one. It's really quiet. <laughs> it is too quiet. It's too quiet. It's driving me a little crazy. I don't feel right. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, you're going to balance your body weight on that left foot. All right, right foot's coming right next to it. So balance all that weight over. Look at your knee right over that ankle. Left hand on the hip. What we're going to do is side tap out as you lift that arm to a back fly. So what you're doing is you're working your rear delt, the back of your shoulder, but also 
your glute and hamstring. Okay, keep your abs nice and tight. We're gonna do 30 reps each side. Now, you can use this with or without weight, okay? Here we go. One, as you do this, think about the ball of your left foot also being anchored into the ground. So your weight is balanced. The foot is rooted into the ground. Weight isn't pushed to the outside of your foot or your knee. There's 10. Nice and light on that tap. Okay, it's not a stomp, it's just a little tap, all right? You should start to feel this in that left leg. There's 20, you've got 10 to go, 10. I can sing. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, all right, go ahead and stand it up. Did you feel it? You should feel it all right here through the hip and the glute, Did. as well as the rear shoulder. All right, let's balance over that right leg. Go ahead and squat it down, right hand on that hip. All right, here we go. Tap it out. Follow your right foot anchored into the ground. Nice and light tap. You must feel like you're balancing. There's 10. <laughs> Our little feet taps. <laughs> Okay, there's 20. We have 10 to go. 10. It's one of my favorite moves. Last four. <laughs> and and three. Deadly. Two. And one. Good job, Good you guys. Job. All right. We are going to switch to abs, mixing in a little upper body so you can keep your lighter to medium weights in your hands. We're going to come down to your mat move I use all the time, crunch to punch. So we're going to do ab crunches. Each time you come up off the mat, each arm will punch forward. So we're going to bring these down, up and punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, heels staying on the ground, seven, as you crunch up, eight, Nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ten more, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last two, nine, and ten. Good job. Staying on your mat this time, we're going to come to your hands and knees. So one lighter weight in your hand, or you can do these empty handed. Let's start with your weight in your left hand. So knees are hip width apart, right hand on the mat. We're gonna bring your knee to meet your elbow underneath your body. Reach out as we slide your leg one direction, your arm the other. Keeping balance, keeping your arm leg up and parallel to the ground. These can be done empty handed as well. So you can reach under, extend, everything slides, come back around. So try not to let your arm and leg drop close to the floor, and you want a pretty full extension of both as you swing around. So definitely working on your right hip. Got a lot going on on this one, we'll keep them slow. All right, left arm, right leg. Bring it in, out, <laughs> swing, bring it back. In, out, swing, and two. In, out, bring it around. Three, in, out, swing, four, in, out, reach around, five, in, out, swing, six, in, out, around, 
in, out, bring it around, five to go, in, out, around, one, in, out, stay up toward parallel to the ground, in, out, around, three, in, out, swing it, last one, in, out, bring that around, bring it back, hands down, stretch it out. So working on your core there, working on your hip, also some upper body, shoulders, a little bit of back. That was a good one. All right, switch it to our other hand. So weight is in your right hand. Make sure you're moving your left leg. If you try to do your right arm and your right leg, it's not gonna go well. <laughs> it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. All right, right arm out, left leg in, out. Bring this around, one, <laughs> in, out. Swing it around, <laughs> two, in, out. Swing, three, in, out. Swing it, four, in, out, around, five, in, out, swing, six, in, out, around, seven, in, out, bring it around, eight, in, out, swing, nine, in, out, around, last five, in, out, one, is your swing, in, out, around, two, in, out, big reach, three, in, out, keep that extension, last one, in, out, bring it around, bring it back, hand down, and stretch. Good job, you guys. Okay, so we're gonna go into a glute move. So we're gonna do single leg deadlifts. Um, now, if you need a little help on balancing, if you've got a stability ball, you can grab a stability ball. If you have a chair, anything you have, couch, side of the arm, whatever, um, grab your heavy weight. So I'm gonna use a stability ball, and I'll show you this chair. Okay, so what we're gonna do, step forward with our right foot. We're gonna have the weight in our left hand. I want you to soften that right knee, engage your core. So make sure that core is engaged so you're protecting your lower back. All right, we're gonna hinge forward. So if you're using something for balance, holding onto it, just fingertip lightly. Engage the core, hinge over as you press up. Drive through the heel of the foot so you're feeling that into the glute and hamstring, okay? We're gonna do, let's do 25 each leg. All right, do the best you can. If you need to drop the weight, drop the weight out, all right? A lot of balancing here. Make sure that foot is flat to the floor. Here we go. Take it down and up. Nice and slow and controlled. Driving through that heel, all right? Good. Now, if you can do this without a balancing tool, that's even better. It just works that, move that muscle group a little bit more. You're at six. You can also cut down on your number of reps. Absolutely. Or don't go down as far if this is too much. If you're not using anything to help you with your balance, obviously you're gonna slow these down, Ten. do fewer reps. Next set of 10. Nine, really starting to feel it into the gluteals. Good, good, good. Make sure you're breathing. Seven, never hold your breath. Except if you're underwater. Except. <laughs> Four more. And three. Good job, you guys. Really starting to feel these. All right, last five for 25. Here we go. Last five. And four, good, three. These are one of my favorites. I always say that I've got a lot of favorites too. <laughs> and one, excellent I mean, job. You guys have a lot of favorites too. Right, so do you 
you guys feel that? Yes. All through the glute, all through the top of the hamstring, okay? And also a little bit of lower back. So watch that back. And that's why I say pull that core in and engage, really protecting through the lower back, okay? All right, and if it hurts too much, that's a sign to drop the weight down and not use a weight, okay? Here we go. Left foot balanced, right foot with, I'm sorry, right hand with the weight. Here we go. Down. Make sure that knee is soft. We don't want to lock out the knee. And keep a nice, straight, flat back. I think that's the hardest part about deadlifts, is getting your form correct. Absolutely. Because if you do them wrong, you can really hurt your lower back. If you don't feel these in your hamstrings especially, it's a good clue that something is not right. Right. Ten down. Slow them down if you need to. Take your time to get your form. A lot of times when we're training, the biggest mistake I see is people try to rush these and they lose their balance. You can hurt yourself, okay? They're meant to be done very slow and controlled. Don't want to rush them. And be careful rounding your back. It doesn't matter so much how close you get to the floor, especially if you have tight hamstrings. Just feeling that pressure back there. Great, good. Last five. And four. And three. And two. Give me one more, one more. Good, and up. Woo, felt those. Good job. Lordy, lordy. Okay. We're gonna switch to abs, and I'm gonna add in a little bit of upper body, you know, because I like to do that. So keeping that same weight in your hands should be fine. We're gonna come down to your mat. You need room to swing your legs side to side. So starting with the weight in your right hand, we're gonna do a chest fly and add in some of the leaks. I'm going to be a little bit diagonal here just so you can see. So you can lay your head on your mat um, and drop your left arm out to the side. If this bothers your head or neck, you can also support your head here. Right arm is going to start wide into your chest fly. Your knees are going to drop to the left. They can either be bent or extended. We're going to start here. Everything meets in the center. So right above your belly button. Drop your legs and your arms opposite direction and up, one, two, as you drop, three, definitely feeling your core tighten, four, also working on your chest, five, six, a little bit of hip work with your leg drop, this seven, this is a good one, I like this one, good, eight, Nine, remember you can bend your knees if this bothers your lower back. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, let's do 10 more, 1, 2, you don't have to rush through any of these moves, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven. This also gives your hip flexors a good workout. Absolutely. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. Doing okay? All right, let's switch to the other side. So weight in your left hand and right arm extended to the side. Legs also dropping to the right. Here we go. Ten. Three sets of ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, even a little pause at the bottom. Six, five, four, three, two. Next set of ten. This is our second set. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Last set of ten here. One. So guys, this is a good workout today Two. that you can pair with a Three. treadmill workout, an elliptical workout, a bike workout, Four. a walk or jog outside, so get Five. some cardio in, and then put this video on. Six. It's about a 40 minute workout, so you're going to do some toning, maybe along with a little bit of cardio today, Eight. okay? Nine. Even run up and down your stairs inside the house. Absolutely. It's going to be rainy when you do this and 10. All right, we are going into a little bit of lower back. So grab light weights. You don't need to use them, but have them just in case. So we're gonna go into a prone position down to the floor. All right, so working through the lower back, I'm gonna have you lift, Push out and down. All right. I'm going to show you the lower impact version. Yeah. Without weights. So we're going to do these slow. Let's do 10, break, and then we'll do another set of 10. Keep your feet to the floor. Squeeze your glutes again. All right. So hands at the side, palms face down to the floor. I want you to lift, push in and down. Up, push. Good. So you're going to feel this lower back as well as upper back. Be careful too that you're not just pulling your neck to get your head up. Right, you exactly. Get your upper body off the mat. Try to keep your up, head and neck push, neutral. Six. Up, push, and seven. Breathe, guys. Don't hold your breath. Two more. One more. Up, push, in and down, take a break. Big inhale and exhale. All right, let's go ahead and do another set of 10. Here we go. Let's lift, push, in, up. These are similar to the ones we do down. on top of the stability ball. That's three and four. Keep your gaze on the floor, not straight out or up. Look down, keeping that neck neutral. Four more. Breathe. Three more. And last one right here. Up, push, in and down. Good. Take those weights to the side. Press yourself up and sit it back, stretching out the lower back as well as the shoulders. Good, bring it up. How are we doing? We doing okay? We are. All right. Ready, squat. Yes, let's stand it up. Heavier weights in your hands for this one. You know I like to do more compound moves. So that will be true of this one as well. We're gonna start with both weights in your hands, feet hip width apart. So as we squat down, your elbows are gonna to touch the tops of your legs. We're gonna lift your right leg, right arm toward the ceiling, staying just on the right side for now. So each squat, elbows touch your legs, butt goes back, head stays up, so you're not bent from your waist using your leg power here. Bring it up. One, two, staying on the right side for now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do ten more. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, guys. That is. Woo. All right, other side. So, same thing.
left leg, left arm. 20 on the left side. Elbows touch. Here we go. Bring it down. 20. 19. 18. 17. 16. Look ahead. 15. 14. 13. 12. Bend from your legs. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. Hang in there. 3. 2. And 1. Woo. Good job. Getting that heart rate up. <laughs> Put your weights down. Grab a drink if you want it. Coming down to your mat now. Continuing to work on our booty. So, a little bit of room. We have some side leg circles. Oh, <laughs> Straight down at your mat. Side. Your neck is naturally hanging on the spine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's reverse those circles. Keep your toe pointed, leg high. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Circles the way we started. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. These are tight, small circles. Other way now. Ten, nine, eight. Where are you feeling this? Seven, six. Hopefully in your glute. Five. A little bit of hip. Four, three, two. And one, bring your knee under, stretch that side out. Now, if you feel that your lower back, a lot of times I tell people, come down to the forearm and extend the opposite arm out. So you're going more on a decline, that way you're not swaying through your lower back. I'll go ahead and do that version on this next set. And also to protect your lower back, please think about your abs. So keeping those real tight for a lot of support. Left leg back, toe pointed, tight circles here. Keep these slow. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse the direction of your circles. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Strong contractions through the glute. Switch directions again. Ten, nine. Good job, you guys. Eight, Hang in there. Keep breathing. Seven, six. Are your abs still tight? Five, four, three, two. Backwards again. Last time. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Very last one. Bring your knee under. Push back and stretch. So with any of these that we're doing, make the numbers work for you. If our reps are too many, drop your numbers down. If they're not enough, add a couple on or go through a second round. Or right. add ankle weights. If you guys have ankle weights at home, put them on. That will add a little bit more uh, weight to it, a little bit more tension, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do, a little bit more hip, a little bit more glute. Um, I call these sit back and lift. So we're going to extend our right leg out, okay? So left leg is behind, sort of pressing the top of the foot into the floor, and 
Again, I always watch the lower back. So I'm gonna have one arm down, one arm extended out straight, okay? So we're gonna sit back to the heel. As you come into tabletop, you're lifting that right leg parallel to the floor, pointing that toe, activating those leg muscles. Jen, before you get started, I'm gonna use the chair for people that can't put pressure on their knee. Okay, and then I'll turn back around here so you guys can get a little bit of a side view. If you're using the chair or anything that you have to lean on, fingertips light here. Okay, ready? Here we go. Sit back and lift, good. So if you're on the chair, Cross your right leg behind your left, and then it swings up to the side for a hip lift. What you want to do, really try to lift that leg parallel to the floor. Get it as high as you can. Point that toe. Sit and press. Good. Keep going. Now, if this bothers your knee, I want you to pad up with a towel or double up your mats. Okay? There's 10. Keep moving it. You're here with me to protect your knee. Cross behind and a side kick. Keep lifting. Good. Let's go. Five more. Here we go. Last five for a total of 25. Five. Lift. Four. Lift, good. Come on, keep going. Three, and two, and one. Okay, so you're feeling it on the outer hip on that right leg, the leg that we're lifting, but you should be feeling that in your glute and hamstring on the balancing and stabilizing leg, okay? Let's switch and do the other side. Definitely if you're standing, stationary leg, taking the front of that one. Okay, this time we have our right leg bent, knee on the floor, right foot flush to the floor. Go ahead and extend that left leg all the way out. We're going to begin with the sit back. Here we go. Sit and lift. If you're using the chair, fingertips are as light on the chair as you can keep them. Work coming from your legs, glutes. Good job, you guys. Keep lifting up. Here's 10. First set. Down. Good. Fifteen down. Keep moving it. Less than 10 to go. Keep working. Okay, five to go, you guys, five to go. Come on, you've got this, don't give up. Four, come on, and three, hang with us. You got Two. it now. Come on, one more. And one, good, very good. Nice job. All right, coming back down to the mat. I get you next. So, I'm gonna to turn to the side this time, so that you can see my arms. You need heavy weights in your hands. And we're going to lay down. Weights are going to start above our chest. So laying on your mat, weights here. Feet start extended toward the ceiling. So if you can, when your feet are high, pull your toes down just a little for a good hamstring stretch. We're going to drop everything towards the ground slowly. So chest press is slow. Leg drop is slow. We're going to stay here. Three, two, one. And then we're going to come up at just that same pace. One, two, and three. Dropping down here. Three, two, one. Bringing this up. One, two, and three. Now, if you guys need to modify, three, go one leg two, at a time. One. All right. One. That way your two, back stays pressed into the three, floor. You don't want an arch back here. Three. Okay. Single two, leg at a time. One. You can bend your knees a little bit as well. One. Right. Two. Three. Or don't drop so close to the floor. Last little warm up. Three. Two. One. Bring it up. One. Two. Three. All right. We're going to come down just as slowly, but we're going to do some holds at the bottom. So dropping down here. Three. Two, 
One, staying low, holding here. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming up at that same pace. Three, two, and one. Drop down here. Three, two, one. Holding low at the bottom. Eight, seven, six, five, C four. Curve. That's fine. Three, C curve. two, one. Bring it up. Three, two, one. Down slow. One, two, three. With your hold. Ten, nine. Elbows not on the mat. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Three, two, one. Same hold at the bottom this time. Drop here. Three, two, one. Hold your chest press and your legs. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Three, two, one. Our next hold will be eight. Bring it down. Three, two, one. Hold here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Three, two, one. Last hold. Just five. Bring it down. Three, two, one. Holding five, four, three, two, one. Up slow. Three, two, one. All right, keeping your feet extended toward the ceiling. Drop your toes just a bit if you can. Keeping your weights shoulder width. We're gonna drop down to the mat and push straight up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep working on that hamstring stretch. Ten, ten more. Keep One, going, guys. two, three, four, five, six, almost seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here comes our drop and hold. Bring it down. Three, two, one. Hold here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Three, two, one. One more like that. Bring it down. Three, two, one. Don't Protect your lower back. back. Ten, nine, oh, eight, eight that's the same seven, <laughs> six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Three, two, one. Legs stay extended. Last set of press. This time we're going to come down as you bring your weights up at a twist at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five more like this. One, two, three, four, and five. Bring your weights down shoulder width apart up till the heads of your weights touch above your chest. One, two, wide and narrow. Three, four, five, six. If you're fatiguing out, do a right seven, left. All right, don't eight, stop, just alternate. Nine, last five, here we go. One, two, three, four, very last hold, drop down slowly, three, two, one, stay right here, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bring it up, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Good job. Very guys. nice, very Good nice. Good. All right, Jen, looks like hip thrusters. All right, let's do some hip thrusters. We're on our back. I'm going to use heavy weights on these. So, all the way back to your mat again, grabbing those heavy weights, putting them on top of your hips, all right? So, when I do these, I like to have my heel close to my finger. You don't want to be extended out too far because then you start to hurt behind the back of the knee, all right? So, just be close if you're not touching because we all have different <laughs> length of arms, all right? So, just somewhat close. 
feet are hip distance apart, don't let the knees flare out. You wanna think about pulling them in towards one another, okay? So just think about that positioning. Okay, flat on the back. Let's engage our abdominal muscles, pulling in and tight, holding everything tight. All right, let's start with slow. Take it up for two and down. I want you to think about driving your body into the upper back. So really bridging up high, keeping the glutes tight the whole time, really squeezing them and down. Good. Take it up and down. Every time, nice, gentle squeeze. Not gentle, make it hard. Come on, squeeze it, make it work. And down. Let's go four more. And down. When you come down, try not to touch all the way to the floor, maybe just hovering a little bit or releasing that contraction. If you need a break, then go ahead and drop it down to the floor and take your break, okay? Let's hold it up here. Little squeeze contractions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go 10 more and 10, nine, eight. Think about your form. Six, five, four, three, two. Give me a hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pulse again. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Good six, duty five, work. four, three, two, one. Now drop it down and up. Going tempo. Two. Lift. Three. Squeeze it, guys. Four. Tighten it up. Come on. Five. If you're sliding on those feet, move them back into position. It's easy to slide when you do these. Drive those feet into the mat. Hold it up there. And pulse. One, two, and four. You got this. Five, six, seven. Feeling it. Come on. Ten more. Don't give up on me. Nine, eight, seven, six. We're burning it. Yeah. And five, four, three, two, one. Ten second hold. Hold it. Ten, nine, eight. Feeling the burn. And six, five, four, three, two. Pulse it again. Come on. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ready? Last round. Tempo. Down and up. Woo! And two. Do it. And three. Starting to feel it into those hamstrings too now. Everything's starting to fatigue out, I hope. Come on. It is. Yep. Eight. Come on. Nine. Here we go. Hold it up there, guys. Hold it. Pulse. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Come on, pulse it, squeeze it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold for ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Don't stop, don't stop. Come on, don't stop. Hold, keep going. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. One last round on that tempo. Here we go. Take it down. Woo, it's that release that hurts. Nine, come on. Eight, push. Seven, are you pushing as high as you can? Six, come on. Press and press. Last three, good. Two and one and release. Drop those nice weights to work. the side. Pull those knees into the chest and release those glutes. Stretch them out. Woo. All right. Bicycles. You can stay where you are. I like that. <laughs> All right, we're getting close to the end here. So with your bicycles, head rests in your fingertips, elbows are wide. So making sure that you're not pulling your chin forward. Drop your feet out so your abs are tight. And let's start here. As you switch from side to side, lead with your shoulder instead of your elbow. So there's no need to come way over here and put pressure on your neck. Kind of lead with your shoulder. So we're going to start here. We're going to go one, two, hold. <laughs> one, two, hold. One, two, hold. One, two, hold it. One, two, hold. Five more. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. Hold. One, 
two, hold, relax your neck. One, two, hold. One, two, and hold. All right, we're gonna come up off the mat. Let's cross right, cross left, back to the center, come down to the mat here. Bring it up, cross right, left, center. Bring it down, up, right, left, center, two, bring it up, right, left, center, three, up high, right, left, back to the middle, four, lift, twist, twist, middle, five, bring it up, right, left, center, six, lift, twist, twist, middle, seven, bring it up, right, left, center, eight, lift here, right, left, center, nine, up, right, left, center, we have five more, lift, twist, twist, middle, one, lift it, right, left, center, two, make sure your legs are dropped out, left, center, three, keeping it tight, this through your abs, center, four, last one, right, left, center, five, all right, let's speed it up, ready, bicycle legs, add that torso twist. That's 10. Now, if you feel your back is arching too much, go higher on your bicep instead of going lower, okay? So middle to high if you need to, all right? 30. If your back is still arching, hands under the butt. So you're lifting through 40. the hips, pressing the back into the floor, okay? 50, halfway. 60, 70, head heavy in your hands, 80, 90, Ooh, I love these. 100, bring it down. Awesome. All right, we have a finisher. Okay. Doing a little hair adjustment here. Yes. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish with T planks, okay? So if you've never done a T plank, you're gonna love them. They're really, really good. So I'm gonna stay with the side view so you can see what we're doing. So I'm gonna have you, we're gonna do two minutes. The first minute, just follow along with me. Modified, you're doing a push up and coming out to the side, okay? Back to center. Push up, coming out to the other side. All, all right. right, by the first minute. Okay, so Mo's got the modification. I'm going to do full plank. Are you guys ready? Yes. Here we go. Take it down, push up. Hold to the side. Let's drop with a hip dip there. Why not, also, right? Just hold a side plank here. Drop down, push up. Side plank. Dip your hip, push up, good. Here we go, push, side plank, and dip. Awesome, back to your push up. Side plank, hip dip, and up. As you dip that hip, I want you to think about taking that top hip and pushing it up to your ceiling so you feel that oblique crunching. Push up. Remember you can just side. Over here if the hip dip is too and much. Up. Good. Awesome, and dip, here we go, up, and dip, all right, we're in our second minute, you guys ready, hold here, we're going to go three, a little surprise, two, I love this surprise, and one, back to the ready? center, three, push up, three, two, and one, take it to your side, hip dip, three, and two, and one, good, back to your push up, three, Two, one, back to your dips. Here we go. Three. Come on, you're all five seconds. Finish. And one. Good. Here we go. Three. Side plank, dip it. You can hold your side plank if the dips are too much. Here we go. Push it. Come on, you guys. Hang Come on. There. 15 seconds. Two. And one. Come on, three, two, one. 
Side plank. Three, two, one. Here we go. Last round. Three, two, one. Finish strong. One. Ready? Side plank. Dip it. Three, and two, and one. Two minutes. Way to work, Too everybody. High. Way to work. Keep up with your daily workouts. Anything you do beats a blank. We'll see you soon. Stay strong and healthy. Love you guys. Love you. See ya.